Aiming and killing with Brock Thorogood. Well, howdy there. I'm Brock Thorogood, and welcome to Aiming and Killing. This week, we've got all kinds of great tips for you and how to shoot your favorite game and your favorite neck of the woods, wherever that be. And I tell you what, this week is brought to you by my favorite attractant. Well, it's called Spray and Shoot. You done spray this wherever you want something shot, and it'll be there. That's right, Spray and Shoot. So let's go and start shooting, huh? Aiming and killing, we'll be right back. Hey there, if you're out there shooting deer like I am right now, go ahead, use this product called Spray and Shoot. This stuff works so good. I've bagged so many trophy deer using this. Here's how you do it. Find yourself a tree like this, shake it up real good, and then you go ahead and spray that sucker down. Because you know why deer are gonna come, and that's why you need to spray it. And you spray it good, and then when you're done, you go ahead and hide in the trees, and then wait for that kill. Cause you know it's gonna come. Spray and shoot. And now back to aiming and killing. Hey everybody, welcome back to aiming and killing. This week I got some great tips for you. Not only got some great tips, I got a great guest. Come on in here. He's no more introduction than five-time world champion Duke McLaughlin. This man is the man. So when it comes to fishing and hunting, he's he's. I would never rather have no one else out in the field with me than this man. Well, thank you very much. Do you have any tips for us this week? I got a tip right here. Always hold your gun with one arm. One arm. So you got another hand for beer. Oh, I like that idea. Always keep your finger on the trigger. Always on the trigger. In case there's game in front of you. All right, can I add on to that one? Absolutely. Lock and load. Lock and Make load. Make sure it's ready to go, because if your finger's on the trigger and you don't got a bullet in the chamber, you're just a dead dick. Mm-hmm. Here's another Brock quick tip. If you ever bag yourself a deer, let's pretend you're, this here is your deer, uh, and you just want to take the trophy uh, antlers, and you don't want to waste your time, here's the best way to get it done. Get yourself a big old awesome blade like this. Go ahead and take it down. That's what you got to do. Is you just make sure, and then you can kick it, and then you can do it some more. And you, if, you, if you just keep that up for a little while longer, you're going to have yourself a trophy. Aiming and killing, we'll be right back. Wunderbrau schmeckt the goodness, ja? Wunderbrau. Wunderbrau schmeckt the goodness. And now back to aiming and killing. Uh, it's the morning of uh, 
day three. Three. Day three. And uh, we have not yet seen any deer. I haven't seen anything. It uh, snowed quite a bit last night, so. Uh, There's no deer around now at all. None. They hate the cold. We're gonna get something. Well, I, I, I put some uh, spray and shoot nice. out there. Nice. Out there. Uh, so hopefully a deer will pick that up. They, any minute now. Any second. I just put it out there about a minute ago. So uh, we should be getting something here soon. Hey, I'm Brock, and here's another quick tip. If you ever bag yourself a deer, let's say this thing is here is your deer, and you need to gut it before the storm comes in or whatever, go ahead, get yourself a big old blade, big old knife like this sucker. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna get in there, you're gonna make sure that that thing is totally clean. If it isn't clean, and it, you get some contaminated stuff in there, you're gonna have a bad time when you come to eat your venison steaks. And that is bad, really, really, really bad. There's never any deer. Hey, I'm Brock, and here's another quick tip. If you're ever out there hunting, and you spend hours waiting for a trophy deer to come in, and you haven't seen nothing, and everyone's just drinking and drinking and drinking, go ahead and leave your empties there so other hunters know not to spend their time there. Sick of it! Aiming and killing will be right back! Wunderbach, schmeckt die Goodness. And now back to aiming and killing. Thanks for tuning into this month's episode of Aiming and Killing. And I want to thank Duke McLaughlin for showing up too. Even though we weren't able to kill anything, Duke, it was still great hanging out with you in the wilderness for the, about a week. I also want to thank our sponsors, Spray and Shoot and Wunderbrow. If it wasn't for those two sponsors, I don't think our weekend would have been nearly complete as it was. Well, anyhow, tune in next month when we're going to do more aiming and killing. I'm Brock Thurgood. Keep your guns high. Shoot the kid.